So what's in this video? This is what's in this video. Hello everybody, this is Phil Briscoe here at Larford Lakes and today is the very last qualifier on the Golden Rod Series. Needless to say, we've had great demand for tickets, people turning up today that unfortunately weren't able to get a ticket from, from the reserve list, it's absolutely packed out. Uh, and it's a great day for fishing, we've, uh, we've got into temperatures now that bit warmer. Uh, in the week the practicing has been very very successful for some anglers uh, weights of up to 300 pounds been coming out so it's all looking good for this last qualifier uh, as we look down the lake uh, my opinion is that the pegs on the far side here where the shallies are uh, peg 40 is an absolute flyer that won the last qualifier down here but any of those pegs any of them at all can win today it's been fishing its head off and beyond the high bank there the first three or four pegs have also been very productive so you're not out of it you know if you're not on this these new banks you're not out of it and opposite there that's Andy Crocker uh, he's drawn peg one which is going to be a great peg on the day I can tell you that much uh, next peg to him I think Dave Burley was on that on the last qualifier had 140 pounds from there but Andy's on um, probably the best peg uh, on that new bank because uh, he's got all this space in front of him and down his, his edges and one thing he's got a lot of space there. Uh, conditions are good I mean you can see we've got a gentle ripple on uh, it, it's really warm it's got to be probably I don't know 12 or 14 degrees at the minute I'd, I'd say uh, and the fish are properly waking up. Now um, the way this is going to be fished today is you're going to have 10 anglers against 10 anglers opposite banks as a zone and then obviously bottom end that's the harder end of the section in my opinion harder end of the match in my opinion the 10 and the 10 opposites again for the second zone and then we've got 20 pegs on the match lake uh, of which peg 20 an absolute flyer and believe it or not just checking my phone here yeah a guy called uh, Jason White now he's actually qualified three times because he's kept his tickets, used them as normal matches uh, and fair play to him, he's, uh, he's, he's actually qualified three times. Not that he has, he only gets one place. But if he wins that again today, which he could do off peg 20, win the zone, that'll be four zone wins he's had under his belt. So he's going to be worth a bet on the day, I'll tell you that much. Uh, Ray Lamb's drawn well on the match lake, he's on peg 10, that's just on the point of the island. I uh, can't remember who's opposite on the end of the island here, I can't remember who's on that one, but um, you've got a fancy Ray definitely on 10 or peg 20 as I said. That being said, Phil Cannon's drawn peg 1. Now Phil's a fish magnet isn't he, you know, and he's drawn peg 1, he can chuck to the bush to his left, well, that could win the zone as well. So there's a lot to play for on there, three or four real out and out flyers, but as the week's gone on it's been fishing particularly well down both banks, sort of mid lake so there you have it pretty well fishing today is going to be 11 till 4 I'm giving it a big weight tip today I think this could well be won today with maybe even 200 pounds you know if these carp carry on feeding the way they've been feeding they're waking up properly they're eating uh, and those that get it right fish it short that's my tip fish it short uh, if they make it into a casting competition God knows what's gonna happen but if I was fishing it today, I'd be fishing short, 100%. So there you have it. 
we'll catch up with you later when the match starts at 11 and we'll tell you how things are going. See you later. So Phil's just underarming a method feeder. Just loaded up with fishery two mil pellets, tiny bit of ground bait. And to be honest with you, a lot of people are fishing pink wafters. Um, I wasn't 100% sure what size Phil was using, but with him catching F1s, I guess, and it was a bit smaller. I know a lot of them on the uh, Specy Lake are fishing 10 mils, but fishing 10 mils, you might eliminate yourself from catching some skimmers. And I think in the tougher areas, you know, you can't ignore them. Um, Sam Brown's caught quite a lot of skimmers today, over 60 pound of them, so, you know, you'd be silly to ignore them because you, you've got to be realistic for people who's fishing the match uh, next week in the uh, final the two day event you know you, you ain't going to do a massive weight off every single peg and you you know you can only catch what your peg's sort of capable of there's always going to be favourable areas same as any venue so Phil's caught really really well fair play to him and it's fish well around the lake obviously some areas are a little bit tougher than others can't deny that but same as any venue so for those who don't know this is uh, Neil McKinnon he's drawn peg 14 on the Specy Lake and again he's fishing fishery micros you are allowed elasticated feeders here so it could be a good shout using them because obviously you can load up your feeders prior you know have them on your side tray ready to rock so you literally just unclip and put another one on so obviously that can help you out quite a lot and obviously elasticated feeders you know help absorb you know pressure less up pulls which is slightly maybe ironic as in that's just pulled out and he's still got it so fair play when your luck's in your luck's in that happened to me at Airscombe so I can't say nothing it's got a beautiful rainbow I hope you can see it Phil Cannon is absolutely empty in it on peg one at least it stopped raining I wonder if there's a pot of gold. If you like the video, please subscribe to my channel. Okay, so we've got two hours left. It's hard to say on the Specy Lake. It could all change, obviously. I would say Nigel Jeffrey on Peg 21 is winning the zone to our left. And it's hard. I'd probably say Matt Grindle on Peg 40. So to our right is winning um, the other zone. And then Phil Cannon was like a train less has changed and he stopped catching. Then I'd imagine he's gonna win that zone. So we just flick you round. So behind Crumpy, Sam Brown. Sam's got 20 six skimmers no carb yet and jace is in different sections just caught a few less so very noticeable that a lot of people sort of like the last couple of hours to go started to feed their short line ready for sort of like like last hour and a half last hour so some fed quite a bit of ground bait, others fed like pellets and corn. Um, some just fish, you know, just fed fishery pellets and micros. Um, I couldn't honestly give you an honest answer. It, what I've seen, quite a lot of lads caught like um, either micros and ground bait together or just ground bait, to be honest, on the Specy Lake more so. I'm not sure if that's because they're catching more skimmers. Um, but I spoke to Fabian, who qualified after the match, because obviously this is a voiceover on peg nine. Um, and he, he said he's just used a light fish meal mix, just ground up pellets. Um, 
and then obviously he's fished his wafters over the top so he does his like own mixes and own baits and fair play so you can see now this is Alex Bones his feed is quite small to be fair compared to a lot so that's made me think because mm, he's done well from where he is so obviously he's not like larrap in loads of bait because um, some of the lads use proper rods so like real thick line big big feeders and obviously just you know down the edge and obviously shake it all out so big big feeders because obviously you know if, if we were fishing like a a normal match where anything was allowed obviously you'd be big putting down the edge so obviously you're not allowed to do that in these matches you must feed everything via a rod aka a feeder Some of the lads said that they fed like corn and pellets and park holes short and down the edge and it just didn't didn't work for them. And they... So this was Nigel Jeffrey. hope I pronounced your name right. Um, so fair play, he's done well. He's won the Special 8 with £121. All the weights are at the end, so if you want to analyse the weights, I've got every single weight board. So cheers, Phil, for letting me take them, as in Phil Briscoe. Um, so obviously that will be if you're fishing the final next weekend or two there then it would definitely be worth looking at them weight boards um, my advice whoever's fishing Larford at the moment definitely sort of these big wafters pink real bright sort of look bait to stand out and also it's noticeable that people don't leave it in there very long so a lot of anglers are only maybe leaving it up to 7 minutes and coming back in um, and some of the anglers are fishing short, leave it even less, five minutes. Um, that's just my observation. And again, I could have it wrong, so please don't hate me if I'm giving you wrong information. But obviously, watch 60 anglers today, and it was noticeable that if people, if you weren't, you, you couldn't just, it seemed you just couldn't chuck it and just leave it and hope it just rather get dragged in. It's definitely a case of uh, in and out. It's seen, especially fishing short. That's what a lot of anglers were doing. They regretted doing it. So, Neil McKinnon won his 10 peg section. So, he won his bank. And he was third in his own with 50 odd pounds. Again, all the weights are at the end.
So behind Sam Brown, this is his 21st skimmer, stroke bream. Chase, would you turn it round? Just it right round. Cool. Cheers, mate. So we're in the dying stages of the match. Still with, I'm going with Nigel Jeffrey on peg 21. He's winning the one zone on the Specy Lake. I'm not sure about the other zone. I'm not going to call it to be honest. Maybe peg two, six, maybe nine. Dave Burrows. Look at this man. A little focus. There we go. He's destroyed this lake, I think. Phil Cannon, fair play. Top five. Uh, Can we get a picture of the sheep? Yeah, we'll do, yeah. Qualifiers, I need you to. Uh, Stay here while we take photographs, etc. Right, in um, fifth place overall, with a weight of 135.5, from Match Lake Peg 12, Chris Pablo. Well done, Chris. Well done, you. In fourth place, with a weight of 143.11, from Peg 11 on the Match Lake, Ian Wood. Well done, Ian. Well done, mate. Ian! I'll have one if you want to. Will you see him, Ray? Yeah. yeah. yeah he says that about everybody. <laughs> <laughs> right, uh, in third like place <laughs> overall, with a weight of 174 pounds dead, from Peg 20 on the match late, Jason White. Well done, Jason. <laughs> in second place, with a weight of 175.2 from Peg 10 on the match late, Chopper! Thank you. Hey. Hey. Do you know him? And the winner today, with a weight of 235 pounds, is always going to be Peg 1, match late, Phil Cannon. Come on, Phil! Come on, you bastard! Right, three qualifiers to confirm. Phil Cannon, of course, from Peg 1 on the match late. Fabian Arpad from Peg 8 on the Spassy Lake. And Nigel Jeff Jeffrey from Bet 21 on the Spassy Lake. Everybody got that? Yeah.